So I thought this would be a really useful video for those of you that are considering an upgrade to the Mark 3S. So what I wanted to do was basically just show you what you get in the box and what your options are in terms of upgrading. So you can see here this is the box that it came in and you can see on the side we've got Upgrade Extruder Mark 3S with 300 grams of PETG which I'll get onto. So we open the box and we get our standard sort of safety packaging and on the top you get a nice congratulations message that says congrats on upgrading your um, original proofer and in this case in big red here you can see make sure you have printed the upgrade parts first and that's really important because that would be a bad situation so basically you get two options when it comes to buying the upgrade you can either print the parts yourself on your Mark III or your Mark II, whatever you're using, and um, you just buy the sort of new components from Prusa, which works out cheaper, or you can have Prusa provide you with all the parts, including the plastic parts, but you just pay a bit more. And basically, you're, you're paying more for Prusa's time than the actual plastic costs, which is why printing them yourself works out cheaper. I'd actually recommend everybody tries to print them themselves because ultimately you get experience using a new material if you haven't already and you're going to learn something doing it. So you also get a set of instructions that basically say you know, where you can get the parts from, uh, what settings you should use and how you should observe the first layer and all that stuff. Troubleshooting too. In terms of actual components then, we get um, extruder spares, which again, I love Prusa for stuff like this. They're always just going that a little bit further, you know, and giving you spare parts, which a lot of companies would not do. So props to Prusa for that. So in terms of the actual upgrade parts themselves, we got quite a few things in here. We've got the, um, the new IR sensor cable, and we also got the actual sensor itself. And you can see there, well, just about, that's a lot smaller than the old one, or the one in the Mark III, which, again, it's a simpler solution, so it makes sense. You also get these two PTFE tubes, and I believe the reason they give you these is because in the Mark III, these are actually uh, a little bit longer than in the Mark S due to the, you know, the complete redesign. So, again, it's nice of them to provide those. They are pretty cheap on the website. I think they're about... 70 to 80 pence. But it's nice of them to chuck them in anyway. And again, obviously the zip ties. So that's all you actually get in terms of the component upgrades themselves. It's quite a simple upgrade, but it's a redesign. And you also get um, some of the other things that actually make the new upgrade work. This is the E-axis pack. It comes with a lot of different components. And in my case, again, you get this reel of PTG. It's black PTG and it's 300 grams, which is more than enough to print all the parts you need. And again, nice approach to, to provide this. And yeah, like I said, it's worth doing the upgrade because you get to try out this new material. I'm going to actually do a video where I compare Prusa PETG to generic PETG and see if there's any difference. That should be fun. And again, they provide you with this really nice cable wrap. And I love this stuff. They used to provide a different one back in the day. This stuff is awesome. And again, it's really nice of them to provide a new one. So I'm really grateful for that. So that's basically it. If I put it all back, you get um, the wheel, the axis parts, the actual extruder upgrade itself, extruder spares, two nice little messages and your packaging. I've actually already printed the spares myself. As you can see here, we've got all the new extruder parts. And I can't wait to install them. So that's it for this video. I hope you found that useful if you're considering upgrading to the Mark III S. Um, I'm gonna do a follow-up video of my upgrade process, so keep your eyes out for that. So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos. It means a lot. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos. 
and please leave a thumbs up on this video if you found it useful. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below where you can do that, but it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of these, and I hope you have an awesome day.